Undead, Undead Unlock. Oh! Yes! Undead right. Unlock. It's still early, so, you know. It, Good job, buddy. Gotta count for something. Hey, 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 I'll give you one of these. <laughs> it's a congratulations horn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is Undead Unlock Chapter 50. Uh, it's up to you now. Uh, last we left off, they murked Unseen, um, and Autumn showed up to the battle. We got a little bit of insight as to Rip's motivation, uh, the unrepair negator. Uh, and, you know, everything's uh, everything's coming together. Autumn is there, and now it's kind of a race to see who can defeat it first and accomplish the mission on their end, whether it's under or uh, the union here that Andy and Fuko are part of. So, yeah, the, it, the Autumn comes back a little stronger than before. Uh, Andy tries to use a big... Eating mad books. <laughs> yeah, yeah, knowledge is power. So Yeah, guys, read. The more you know. I gotta get that drop. Uh, so... Andy tries to do his cool new uh, deep crescent moon technique, uh, but it doesn't really. It, it cuts pretty big, but it doesn't do any lasting damage because it can. Autumn can apparently repair itself. Uh, He's like, Gah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Well, yeah, there I think that's go. it. I thought there were two ellipses. I thought it was more like a ga ga, but I think you're right. I think it's. I think it's a ga ga. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Is that what it's? Was that what it says? That how it talks, or is that it? Is it you crying out in pain? I don't know, man. <laughs> gah, gah. He's got his, his forehead just completely slashed. Yeah. Then unrepair tries to do something there and just shatters his fucking sword. I don't know what's going on there. I think that's his leg thing. I don't think was it that works. His, was that an artifact that he just broke? Uh, is it? Did he break one of them? I didn't, I can't even really see it right now. Cause something breaks off of Autumn. Uh, I'm trying to find out what it is. It doesn't, it's kind of unclear. But in any case, it doesn't work. Nothing Rip does really works. Uh, Andy's also trying to do the most right now. It's still not working. Um, so that's when uh, An- Ano comes in. And he's like, listen up, everyone. I'm about to draw the strongest artifact I know. We'll use that to capture Autumn. I just realized Ano is wearing Crocs this entire time. Uh, mm. Fashion king. Uh, no, no arms. <laughs> no arms, so, all Crocs. But he's gonna draw something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's gonna draw something with his mouth, I guess. And uh, he's gonna need the rest of them to uh, buy time until he's finished. So yeah, and and he's like sick. It's all up to you, I know. So you know, they're gonna he, they're gonna give him time to draw, and they all just try to distract him for a while. Um, we get the last of Ano's flashbacks. Uh, we learn that, you know, while he draws, uh, the things he draws uh, just come to life. You know, he draws a car and a car, a small car appears uh, in uh, on, his t- on his desk. And then he draws an entire pa- person, which is who he is right now. Uh, you know, his design as it is because his original mm-hmm. form has like just black hair. It's still long, but it's not like this. It gives him like... Uh, he gives him a hair tie, himself a hair tie, you know, and uh, yeah, he draws himself basically. And everybody around him is like, the fuck, <laughs> you know, as he's doing this. And um, he arrives at this hospital with his drawing form, because I guess this is the only way people can see him. Uh, and uh, by the time he gets there, his mom has passed away. So, Aww. yeah, I'm very, very sad. Uh, I don't think I have my sad music on here, but, uh, you know. We'll honor her this way. really sad. Ah, yes. A very (laughs) honorable sound. (laughs) That's how they got different hair and stuff. Okay. I understand now. Yeah. And and it kind of calls to attention that this is not the real Anno. Maybe. Maybe. That's why that explains why they can see him. Because Mm -hmm. that's what I was wondering is like, how can they see him if he's unknown? Like they never specify that in, that in negators can see him, and you know it explains like why he looks different from his flashback to now. Um, but yeah, that um, he basically we get this two page spread where, you know, he's basically talking to his mom, in you know 
in the afterlife, I guess, explains that Andy is, you know, he's undead. He may look scary, but he's capable of anything if it's for Fuko. And the girl is Fuko. She has a hard life because of her unluck ability, but she is fighting with courage ever since she met Andy. And the small one there is Rip. He's the one person I wanted to tell you about. He's really kind and cool, and he's suppressed it ever since losing someone dear to him. But he'll be cooler when he's an adult. Um, So, you know, he starts to draw this artifact, and he uses it to age Rip 15 years, and uh, Rip has his body back to where it used to be. Um, so he's just like, what the fuck just happened? Wait, that artifact, it's the time control artifact. And he blasts his way over it, over to him. He says, it takes the amount of time you manipulated and makes you age 10 times that. So yeah, so it's not, hell of a drawback. Yeah, this is a huge, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, he, so this thing, Autumn is looking over as he, try, as he like runs over to her. Yeah. Or, you know, him in the air, I guess. And he's like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> you bugged out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, even I know. I it's uh, 150 yeah. years you aged him, right? That's 15 times 10. Uh, so, yeah, he uh, Arno is just like wasting away because he's just aged himself a crazy amount. And um, he basically says, don't worry, I'm just going back to being alone again. In order to catch it, capture Autumn Rip, your power is necessary. Uh, and he just basically turns into dust as he says, the rest is up to you, my cast of cool heroes. Uh, and Anno is gone. Uh, not technically. At least the art form yeah, is gone. That's why I'm not giving him the Mario death. Because yeah, technically, we'll I don't think he's dead. Uh, I think it's just this uh, this art rendition of him that, that comes to life. Yeah. Which is interesting because this art thing can also use his... Neg- no, it can't use his negation. Because he's no. Yeah, it wasn't negating anything. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Well, that makes sense. I'm glad that kind of got uh, resolved because I was very confused about that fact. Um, kind of sad. Ano hasn't been a character that's been around for that long, uh, but yeah, you know, he's he's growing on us, and I think his story is one of the sadder ones. Um, Super OP though. At least that artifact. Yeah, very is. much so. Um, <laughs> I think uh, a lot of the characters' backstories in Undead Unluck are kind of similar. A lot of negators end up killing their parents in one way or another because of their negation ability. Um, to have somebody who's not like, I killed my parents, and that's my backstory, is nice. Yeah. You know, you know, it's a little unique, uh, a little special. Yeah, she just died regularly. Mm. I'm, I'm hoping yeah, that Ano, like at the end of all this, is able to be known again. Um, that at some point he returns as, you know, his full self as the negations, I guess, maybe go away. Mm. But, I don't know. That's the hope that I have. Very good chapter of uh, of Undead Unluck. 